The short sales are nothing due to our real estate market, but troubled home sellers getting paid as much as $20,000 from their lender for relocation assistance, not only something new, perhaps even sounding too good to be true. How does it work? We have Lincoln News real estate contributor Denny Grimes here to explain. Good morning, Denny. Good morning. This does sound too good to be true. If you can make twenty thousand dollars to sell a home that's not worth what you owe, what you owe on, own on it. Yeah, it does sound too good to be true, and it um, it isn't. I mean, it is a true. Uh, it is true. Bank of America, which is the nation's largest lender, is uh, using Florida as a test market. Uh, this new program. And there's uh, lenders out there that have similar programs called Cash for Keys. The Bank of America has given a minimum of $5,000 and up to $20,000 for homeowners to encourage them to short sell their property instead of letting them go to foreclosure. You say this is simply a business decision on their part. It's not any kind of bailout. No, it sounds like a bailout to the, uh, the people that are delinquent, but it is a business decision because the, the lengthy foreclosure process is going to take 12, 24 months. The house sits vacant. It's vandalized. Uh, the roof leaks. Mold grows in there. So it's cheaper for them to pay the homeowner to stay there than it is to let it uh, become abandoned and take care of it and put it back on the market later. So how's it going to work? If, if, how's it going to work if you think this is a great idea, it could help me, I want to take advantage of it. Right. Well, if, if you're troubled out there and you're not making your mortgage payments, it, regardless of your lender, you need to call to find out what, what type of programs are available, particularly Gulf uh, Bank of America. Uh, and some of the requirements are, number one, the property must be located in the state of Florida. It can't be a lot. It must be improved property. Generally designed for the primary homeowner, but there are some signs that there are some incentives even to investors. So that's number one. Number two, the short sale process has to be initiated between September 26th, last month, and November 30th. Now, there's some, there's some uh, uh, misunderstanding about how it's initiated. I mean, if you basically, in the way we're interpreting this, if you have an offer on your, uh, have your short sale on the market but no offer, you should call the lender and find out what you can qualify for because if an offer comes in between those, uh, those dates, you may qualify for cash for re, uh, cash assistance for relocation, but it must close then before August of 2012. So at the very minimum, you need to get the house listed to get in, involved in this process. Yes, and it may not even be too late if it's already listed, as long as there's no offer in progress. Now, if that offer busts, as many of them do, you may be able to come back in during that window and re-enlist this and maybe qualify. Now, this is a new program. So there's a lot of questions. But it bears a call. Number one, call your agent, call your lender to find out what is being offered. And, and if it is available, then you know, do, go through the hoops to make sure you, you can take advantage of it because it is a, uh, is a, a great program for people that are troubled. And real quick, you think it, can it help clear out some houses as well? Yes. I mean, basically, if there's some in the pipeline that need to get going, this is now, there's never been a better time if you're going to short sell. All right, Denny, thanks so much for coming in and letting us know about this program. And if you have a question you want Denny to answer, there's his email, denny at dennygrimes.com. We'll come right back. And while you're watching Wink News Now this morning on TV6.